All right, guys, <clears throat> it's a very big day today. We're going to be doing a Five Guys unboxing, okay? So I already got the ketchup right here in the napkins, of course, and I have my Slim Jim to break into my own car. Uh, I'm not breaking into other people's cars just yet. I uh, haven't honed my skills enough yet for that. So we got another ketchup right here. All right, now looking in the bag, oh, you can see, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to contain myself. Um, we have the Cajun fries, and there is the double bacon chi in the back. So on the double bacon chi, I got double patties, bacon, a little bit of chi, some jalapenos, a little picky action, pickles, um, for those of you who don't speak English, and um, barbecue sauce. Nice invention. So I'm going to be trying out the Cajun fries. I'm gonna be dipping these in here. I'm gonna crash up. Oh, man. So for those of you who don't know, Cajun fries are the reason you go to Five Guys. Burgers are good. I'm gonna be honest, in and out does it better. But what I got up here in Oregon is great. I love it. So, it's kind of just a casual video, just starting the camera, I'm going to talk, I had a few ideas on what would be entertaining for you guys to listen to as well as for me to talk about myself. So I just picked my car back up, it was about 300 more dollars than I was told initially, of money I didn't have, so I was caught in a money laundering scheme that was going to actually pay for my car. But now it didn't. So, I ended up getting the smallest check I've ever gotten this last week. I didn't have enough to pay for my car. My parents were kind enough to spot me on the second half of the payment. Amazing people. Very kind people. And now, I'm sitting back with about after gas $30 in my bank account to last me till two weeks or to last me until my own ingenuity allows me to get some more money which I got some ideas brewing I got some optimism that's kind of a little topic I'm gonna to talk about in a second and so I'm sitting here my Patrick okay you have approximately like $29 and some change you should go drive right back home and not spend any money and this stock in my head oh, five guys oh. and I was like yeah yeah see the thing that happens when you don't have a car you don't have freedom and I live in America while I may not agree with some of the things that go on in this country I do know that I am entitled to freedom so because of that, it started to spark something in me. If I don't listen to my own innate call for freedom, you know, the call that burns deep down inside of me, I'm gonna ignore a lot of other things as well. And you know, everything we do is very cyclical. It works in cycles. Everything's connected. If I deny myself one thing, I deny myself another. If I deny myself this hamburger, I might deny myself an orgasm later during sex. You know, I might, you might get that guilt. You know, if I deny myself this burger, I might deny myself the opportunity to make a million dollars in a business opportunity. You know, I'm just saying how I might be connected because I didn't feel fulfilled in my life from getting the burger that made my circadian rhythm even ask for. While I don't have a burger every day, usually about once a week, I go eat by myself somewhere, sit back and relax. I haven't done that. I'm doing it now. I'm listening to myself. And what I want to talk about on this optimism though, is that with my $29 and some change, I have the freedom to not only be optimistic and say, hey, I can get a burger, 
I have the freedom to get that burger. And that, that just sparks more than, well, I only have $29 in my bank account. I got to save some money. You know, if I save that $29 for the next two weeks, I'll be able to be financially stable. No, fuck that. You got to spend money to make money. So I spent eleven sixty eight, one third of my total money right now on a burger and some fries and a Yerba Mate tea. Because I deserve it. And I believe that me listening to myself and knowing what I need and actually fulfilling those needs, not just wants, is going to help propel me in the right direction to make these better decisions. Because you almost sit back in a little bit of depression when you don't listen to these. You like that burp? It was good, huh? And when you don't listen to those calls, you start slipping on opportunities that you could have before. I very much use it when I'm talking to people or I think about talking to people. I say, I think in my head, oh, I should go compliment them on this or that. You know, I should go compliment them on their shirt or I should go make a funny joke to them. And then I walk past them without doing it. Oftentimes I'm finding myself walking backwards, turning around and going back and doing what I thought I should have done in the first place, but I didn't. So that is one step better than just doing it in the moment. You know, I'm working my way up there. There's some moments I do do that. I, I speak the first thing that comes to my mind. And people like it. People like when you do it too as well. But if you're working your way to that point like I am myself, it's okay to turn around. It's okay to backtrack and then go do something you thought you should have done. It's not okay to keep walking. It's not okay to stay silent. It's not okay to ignore yourself because you think you might sound dumb. You think you might sound stupid. You think you might sound whatever it might be. If you deny yourself the simple pleasures of what makes you tick, if you know you need a, a beer and a burger every Saturday to not go crazy and kill everyone in your office by all means you motherfucker you better eat that beer and burger and love it every second of it know yourself know your rituals know what you have to do <clears throat> this is a double bacon sheet so I just wanted to let you guys know that this is beautiful I like to play with my food before I eat it. It's probably not in focus much, but. Ugh. So, I'm gonna end this with a bite of the burger and I'm gonna end this with a little bit of knowledge on your guys' side. This little bit of giving into your wants, your desires, your absolute needs, is what is going to spark you. Create that initial push, that initial light to do everything else that you need to do in life. This isn't a one and done in our life. This is a marathon. This is zero to 100, but you gotta go from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way up to 99, 100. You can't go zero to 100. So start with little baby steps, like not denying yourself this burger, not denying yourself the chance to do every single thing that you want to do in your life. Oh, I love that. Oh, I love that. Mmm, jalapeno. Very important. I like to eat food in parts. So another thing I'm not denying myself. I'm combining every single thing that I haven't done for myself in so long right now. It feels good. You should start doing that as well. You should go eat your burger. And you know that's a metaphor. I hope I hope you know. My burger is a metaphor for whatever you need it to be in your life. It's a metaphor for your passion, your career, your love life, your absolute driver, and whatever it is that keeps you pushing through life every single day. So go get your fucking burger. One last little bit. <clears throat> I'm about to finish this burger and I wanted to say something else I just watched the video and I didn't say it so now I'm gonna come back and say it because I'm listening to myself and I wanted to say it you can't ignore these callings 
because that's simply ignoring yourself. You are telling yourself that you are wrong when guess what? This is your world. This is your life. Why are you wrong in your life? You know, that, that doesn't make sense to me. While you may have a uh, different mindset, a different perspective in some situations and you need to talk to people to become right in your life, don't ever feel like you are wrong in your life. You made the decision. Sometimes you have to learn from it, but you have the balls to actually make the decision. So you're never wrong in your life. You might be misguided. I mean, say you kill someone or cheat on your wife. Yeah, you're wrong. But that's uh, outside of what I'm talking about. As well as the burger, the brewski, kicking back with the boys and having a cold one. That is you investing in yourself, investing into your mental sanity, your mental health, making sure that you don't overload yourself and that you don't explode, that you don't self-explode on yourself and throw all these things at yourself that you can't actually handle. You need to relieve the stress. You need to eat your burgers. You need it. You need to listen to yourself. I'm out.